Hey everyone, in today's video, we're diving into the Microsoft Copilot Studio Loves MCP Lab, a super cool project that shows you how to connect powerful language models with your own tools using something called the Model Context Protocol. Don't worry if that sounds complicated, I'll walk you through it. Whether you're a dev, an AI nerd, or just curious about how Copilot Studio gets smarter, you're in the right place. Let's get into it. To start this lab, go to aka.ms slash MCS MCP lab. This will lead you to GitHub, and here you can use this template and create your own repository from the template. In this template, we have a whole description of what to do with this lab. We have the prerequisites. We have a lab where we have all the different steps that you need to start creating the repository based on the template, but then also deploy it to an Azure web app, create a Power Platform connector, and then add the MCP server as an action in Microsoft Copilot Studio. Let's get started and show you how you can use this template. When you are in the repository, you can click on use this template, create a new repository. When you do that, you have the option to choose an owner, and then to add a repository name. In this case, I'm gonna call it Jokes MCP. You can add a description and you can set it to public or private. In this case, I'm gonna leave it by the default of private because I don't want anybody else to see this repository. So let's create a repository and this should take a couple of seconds before the Jokes MCP repository has copied the full contents of the template. And here we are, the jokes MCP repository has been created. When we look at the repository that just got created, we have an SRC folder, which is for the source code. In here, we have an index.ts file. When we click on that, this is the contents of our server. What we can see here is that we have a jokes SSE server, a server that provides jokes. It has a couple of tools in there. So we can see that we can get a Chuck Norris joke. We can get all the categories for Chuck Norris jokes. We can get a random dad joke and we can get a random Yo Mama joke. This is just the descriptions, but if you scroll down, you can see here that all the tools are also available here. So this is basically the HTTP call that it will do to fetch a Chuck Norris joke. It also has another HTTP call for getting all the categories in Chuck Norris. And here we have the get dad joke tool. And lastly, we have the get yo mama joke tool, which is also a separate HTTP call to a API. And this is basically the whole MCP server. But now we also need somewhere to host our server. So that's why we're gonna need Azure. So let's go to Azure and show you what you need there. Here we are in Azure and I already opened up my Jokes MCP web app, which I created. This is something you need to do and you need to follow the instructions in the lab for that. But I wanted to show you this part because this can be a bit difficult. But what you can see here is that we have a deployment center inside of the web app. And what we can do here is we can select a source. In this case, we're gonna pick GitHub because our code is on GitHub. And we can select our account, our repository. This is the repository that I just created. And we can select a branch. And when we do that, it will automatically create a workflow for us on GitHub. So whenever we push something to the GitHub repository, it will automatically deploy that to our web app. And this is a really easy way to get our MCP server up and running. So let me save this and then I'll come back to the uh, GitHub repository to show you what actually happened. Here we are back in our jokes MCP GitHub repository. And because of the change we just did in Azure, we now have a .github slash workflows folder. And in there, we have a workflow main underscore jokes MCP .yaml. And this is the workflow that will automatically update our Azure web app when we have some changes in this repository. 
So with that, the MCP server should now be running on the Azure web app that we created. So let me show you how that works. So here we are in Azure on my Jokes MCP web app. And as you can see, we have the default domain here, and that's the domain for my web app. When I open it up, I can see that the Jokes MCP server is running, and that's what we like to see. This is how you can make sure that the server is running. And now when I add SSE to the end, I can actually see the SSE endpoint, the server sent event endpoint of the MCP server. So this is the endpoint we're going to use in Copilot Studio. So I'm going to go to Copilot Studio and show you how you can add a connector to Copilot Studio and then how you can add it to your agent to use this MCP server. Here we are in Copilot Studio where I already created an agent and now we want to add the MCP server to that agent. To do that, we can go to actions. There we can click on add an action. And next we need to add a new action. We need to select new custom connector because we need to add a custom connector to connect to the MCP server. And this will open powerapps.com. Here I can create a new custom connector and create from blank. I need to add a name. So let's call this jokes MCP. Let's hit continue. And now I can enable the Swagger editor. I can replace the Swagger in here and paste my definition that I got from the lab. And now I want to go back to Azure. And here I can copy the default domain. Next, I want to go back to Power Apps and I want to replace the host URL, the dummy URL with my own domain. And that's it. You can click on create connector and that will create the connector that we need for the MCP server. So this will take a while with saving. And after that, I will go back to Copilot Studio and show you how to add the action. Now let's configure the Jokes MCP server action inside of the agent. When you select the Jokes MCP server as a new action inside of Copilot Studio, you will first see the connection screen. And this is where it will load a connection for the Jokes MCP server. When I hit next, I can enter a name for this action and I can add a description in here. I can also change the end user authentication. In this case, I'm just going to leave it as is. Next, I'm going to click on add action. This will take a couple of seconds before the action is available inside of Copilot Studio. And when this is done, we can already test out the action. Now I can ask a question about the MCP server. Can I get a Chuck Norris joke? And here we get a question to add a connection because the end user doesn't have a connection yet. Let's click on connect. Here the connection window will get loaded and I can click on connect again. Now the connection has been loaded, I can submit it. This will take a couple of seconds before the status will change to connected. I can close this window and now I can refresh the test your agent part and ask again, can I get a Chuck Norris joke? And if all goes well, it will trigger the MCP server. And there we go. It will also respond with a Chuck Norris joke. I can of course also ask for a dad joke and it will trigger the jokes MCP server again. So this is how easy it is to get the MCP server running and also make it available in Copilot Studio. 
I hope you really liked it. I hope you can also go through the whole MCP lab yourself. So make sure to try it out and let me know what you think of it.